Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me and I have started on another journal and this journal is using Hello Susan's paper collection and I've just printed some coffee dyed paper on the back and then I've got a few more pieces that I'm going to be including in here. Some Edith Holden paper. So it's roses and butterflies I guess you could say because it's got roses, birds, and butterflies in here. But I wanted to make a flip pocket with a an old envelope now you can use a new envelope if you have any I don't have any this size so I just use my junk envelopes this is going to have to be cut down a little bit because it's a little bit too long for this so I'm just going to cut the end of it off a little bit it doesn't have to be the exact size of the page but I'm just going to cut a little bit off of the end and I think that will work. I just don't want it sticking out. Let's see. Yep, that works right there. So and I'm going to use this page to make my flip with. Now I saw this on a couple of different channels. I have seen this on Carol Law's channel. I think I've seen it on I don't know Gail's channel I've seen it on Rachel's channel so it's been different places I'm not the first one to do this but I wanted to do one of these for this journal so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put that down inside this just to cover a little bit of that I don't care if it's all covered but I just want a little bit of that covered and I don't have a clue if I'm gonna be making mine like theirs or not I'm not trying to I'm just making mine kind of like it's in my head so we'll see what happens <laughs> now I'm not gonna cut this paper off until I see how much of it I'm gonna use their envelope here I think was straight out mine is not so but I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right down the edge of that where it folds so I'm just running it right down I guess right above where it folds and then on this I'm gonna go kind of up at an angle I'm not gonna close this little piece off if I can help it I may have to in the long run I'm gonna leave this open until I get my paper in there and I am just tucking it in just enough to hide that the inside of the envelope I'll get it out in a minute you know I'm concentrating when I don't talk right There are people in this world who like me better when I don't talk. So. <laughs> okay, so that is down. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Put me a little glue under there. A little glue right here. That'll just glue that pocket back together. Of course, I get glue everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get some glue right there. Now, this pocket is still going to be open right here. Okay, now we need to decide where we want to cut this off. And I'm thinking that, let's see, do we want to cut it right there? I'm looking at my fold on my envelope. That's going to be my telltale here. So let's go ahead and fold that a little bit just to give us an idea of how much we want to cut. So there is our fold. There's the front of our envelope, and looks like I got a little off on my folding, so let's see if we can do that a little bit better. All right, I'm going to pull this page over so that we can kind of look at how it's going to go on my page. And I'm not saying it's going to go on this page, but I want to look at it on here. It will go down like that, I think, like that. This will flip out. You'll have a pocket here, and I'll probably put another little pocket there, and I may even put a pocket here, and then it will glue down right here at the edge and right up through here. And so this will be a different flip. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here. I think that's where I want my flip to end. I don't know. We may have to cut it again, but if we do, that's okay. So I want that to glue down at the edge of the page like that. 
All right, we're going to cut this off a little bit more, and I'm going to show you something. <laughs> something that I'm going to do. I've changed my mind about how I want this to flip and how I want it to lay down. That's, that is the way I do when I start making something. I usually change my mind in midstream. So I want this, actually, this I didn't have to leave open, and I'm going to go ahead and close that now so that it won't interfere because I'll show you where I'm going to make my other pocket. Now you could still make a double flip out of this. I just don't want to on this one. I think I want that to glue right there. I want to glue up through here and up through here. I'm going to put a little pull right there. That's going to be a pocket. This is going to flip out. There'll be a pocket here, a pocket here, and then when this closes over this way, I'm going to cut the top of this open so we'll have a pocket there and a pocket here. So, <laughs> did you get all of that? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut this open with my trimmer because I do need to trim it down just a tiny bit more anyway. So, just going to put it on here and trim it a little bit. I will try to make this clear. As, as I'm going along. Let's make sure that the size is right now. Yes. Okay, the size is good. So we're going to leave that open. All right, we're going to cover this with some paper. And you don't need to cover this because that's going to be the bottom of your pocket. We do need to punch a little pull right here. Okay. We do need to close this little part up right there. So we just put a little glue right there, close that up. Since we're going to have a pocket down in that way, I am going to close this pocket up. This one we don't need to be open. We'll just close that up right there, and then you'll still have a nice pocket that way. I am going to go ahead and cover this. Let's see. No, I don't want that there. I have so many people who ask me, why don't you do this and why don't you do that on different projects? And it's simply because I, I craft on the fly. I know a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't care for that method. But that's just the way that I do. I craft on the fly. I'm not wanting that paper on there. So let's find another. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I don't want quite so much red, so this one's got some green in it, and that'll pull out that extra green that we've got there. That other one was just a little bit too much red going on. So I'm going to cut that right there, I do believe. Get my envelope covered, and then I'll show you how you can put it down on the page. All right, what I'm going to do to this piece is I'm going to glue it down on three sides and leave this open and that's going to be another pocket. So if I just leave this paper open and not this, it won't interfere with that other tag that's going to go down in there. So I'm just going to eyeball the middle, punch that. I may have got it a little bit high or a little bit low, but it'll work. So we're going to glue right here down this side. Now I'm going to take a tiny little piece of this paper and slide in right there so that you don't see the white of that envelope. There we go. So see that's all covered. That'll go that. Alright, now we need to cover this side. That will work right there. Then we'll just trim that excess off. I think I'll go down that edge with that one. So I'm just going to put a little glue right here. All right now we need a little piece down here.
Okay, so that's my way of measuring right there what size I need. And you could cut these, I mean, you could tear these pieces if you wanted. I'm just, I'm just going to cut them. This time, sometimes I tear them. Just all depends. I think we'll go with that. Just gonna cut a little piece, glue it down, and then trim off the excess. Okay, then right here I want a focal point because of the way this flower was cut off. And I think I'll just I'll put this one on there with the little bird. And this is out of the collection from Susan. And I will have her Etsy store linked below. Now it'll take me just a second to cut this one out, so I'm just going to cut this part out or speed it up. There we go, and I think I'll stick him right there. And you could leave it open and have another little tuck there, but I think I'm just going to glue it all the way down. I don't think I'll need that many tucks. And you'll still be able to see the flowers, but then we'll have this little guy on there that'll kind of be our focal point and cover up where we've joined all those papers. So I like that. Got him a little bit overboard here, so I'm just going to trim that off. Okay, we're going to punch a pull on the top of this. Just a small one because we don't have a lot of room there. All right, we have a pocket there. We'll have a pocket here, and we have a pocket there. Now we need to put some paper in here. And this doesn't have one of those little plastic windows in there, so I'm not sure. So I think I might put that vellum down in there. Kind of like that and it, it blends, it goes with the paper, so we'll use that. And that can, let's see, I'm going to glue that on top, right at the edges, so that it glues to the top piece and not the bottom. And I have no clue where I got this vellum. Someone sent it to me a few years ago, so it's, I don't know where it came from or anything. <laughs> I, um, I have stashes and stashes of vellum pieces that I don't know where they came from because they came from one of you guys, and I don't know the brand or anything, so sorry about that. There we go. Put that in there. Make sure that glues down well. I saw a little piece right here that come up, so I'm going to glue that again. Okay, now when we put our card in there, and I'm going to be careful because that's not glued well yet. I'm just going to make sure that it didn't glue itself together. I don't think it did. Let me find something to put down in there. So let's just say we put our card in there, then the card will go behind the vellum. That will work. Okay, we've got that pocket there, this pocket here, and then a pocket here. And the way it will go down on our page, let me just, let's pretend this is the page that it'll go on. It will glue down like this. So I will glue it down right here, right here, right along here and here. And it'll glue down like that. I'll tell you, let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, is this the page I wanted on? This looks good. We'll just do it here. So I will glue along here, down this way. Oh my goodness, I'm driving so crooked today. And then this way. Now if you wanted to do any stitching on this, you need to go ahead and do it now. But I'm not, so. And then I'm just going to put it 
close to the edge. I'm not putting it all the way, but I'm putting it pretty close. And then pressing that down. And I'm just going to try to make sure I get it as straight as I can because I don't want it sticking out. Alright, so there's our pocket there. And let me grab a piece. Our pocket's here. We have a pocket here. And then when you close this up, you have a pocket up here at the top. So that's a little flip out flip out pocket, I guess you could call it. Made out of a scrap envelope. I like that. I like that. And you could always, if you didn't want a double pocket, or if you didn't want a solid pocket like this, you could make a double pocket and just glue right down through there and have a pocket here and here. But I kind of like that open one there. Put a big journal tag in there. And then your, your fold is still here, so you've got plenty of room for a journal tag. And like I said, I'm not sure this is how anybody else made theirs. It's just the way that I wanted to make mine. So that is the way this one went. And I will probably come back and put some embellishments on some of these when I start decorating my journal. But today I just wanted to show you how to make this pocket. And I hope that I made it clear enough on how to make it. Take that first piece of paper and tuck it in where your envelope is. Face up and glue it down in there. And then decide how long you want this pocket to be. And then just go ahead and cover your envelope just like you would normally would. And open it up. Now you could decide to open it here if you wanted. I wanted a long tag so I opened it up there. And then when I put this paper down I just left that open too. Alright guys that is it for this video. I'm probably going to make two or three more of these. Not for this journal, but for another journal that i am got in the works. And I hope you give them a try. If you do, make sure that you go over and share it on our Facebook page. That link is below the video. Just hit the Show More button and it'll open it up and you can see all of our links down there. Uh, share it over on our Facebook page. You may have some different twists on yours and I would love to see that. Alright, we'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and we'll talk to you later. Don't forget to stick around for the photos.